So they just brought us some burek. This burek is a little different. Cheese, onions, but it's like cigars almost, and the spinach. Mm. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from Theth, Theth National Park in the Albanian Alps, in Northern Albania. I just got here. I just did a three hour journey from Skodar all the way to Theth with my boy Andy from Travel Albanian Alps. And I gotta say, this place is mind blowing. Look at this, the air quality, wow. The mountains, the scenery, this place is just stunning, beautiful. If you like hiking, you will love it. If you like food, they have delicious food here as well. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna explore everything you could do in Theth, right? So we're gonna see the church, we're gonna hike to a waterfall, we're gonna eat at this guest house right here. He said it's diverse, it's unique, it's good, and I mean, really you should spend at least two days here, or three days here, so you can go and do other things, like, like hiking really, really far to the Blue Eye, hiking to Valbona, I mean, there's a lot of things to do, but unfortunately for me, I only have like five, six hours, so we're gonna see everything we can. All right, let's go meet with Andy, let's have maybe a rakia, maybe a coffee, and let's begin our journey in Theth. Let's go. My man. Hi. We ready? Yeah. Rocky? Welcome, welcome to Thais National Park. Gazur. Gazur. Guest house named Logo Parusha in Thais. This is the place who I work with and actually it's the biggest one in Thais. It's capable of 122 beds. Real everything is fresh and tradition Albanian food. Nothing frozen. Nothing frozen. Farm the table. No. And this rakia is from here. The rakia is from here too. That's like water. That's like literally like water. For now. No, I'm just saying because the water. After, for now, it seems like water to you. After two hours, it will give you the effect, and then you will ask me, "Hey, Andy, that wasn't water." No, but what I mean is that it's so good, the quality of water. Yeah. That it just makes it like almost you don't taste the alcohol. Well, you do, but. Oh. Now we're gonna go to the waterfall, visit the church, visit the canyon, visit the locking tower and then we cannot come back here for lunch. And the only thing that's difficult to get to is the waterfall. It takes roughly 45 minutes walking, and then it's the blue eye, but that takes four hours, you said, right? Four hours? It's two and a half hours one way. Wow. From the village. So two and a half hours, plus another 30 to an hour there, right? And then another two and a half back. It depends because most of the people like swim there, even that that water is really freezing, but the people do swim there, so it could take longer. That's why you have to come here for at least a night because if you have what we have, which is only a day. No. Okay, you could say that, hey guys, I've been to Theth, but that's it. <laughs> and right there, we have the Church of Theth. Dates back to 1892, so like roughly 128 years old. And it's currently under construction. As you can see, there's actually people that are camping right there. They have their, basically their tent. Yeah, for free. For free. They literally just can camp. Anybody can do that? Anybody can do that at the church. At the church, you can't just camp here, right? You can come here too, man. It's 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 a free country. You can come wherever you wish. This country is amazing. And our journey begins. Crazy view. So this is like a rocky path. I highly suggest hiking boots. If not, wear sneakers. But definitely no sandals. You'll kill yourself here. Woo! inside the mountain now man so at this cross you make a right you head down deeper into the mountain see the river right there but wow, that water looks phenomenal or right there we have an old home really old stone building good that place makes us look epic tired no not yet you i'm good no nah, this hike is not bad i mean this is a quick he said 45 minutes Slowly, love how we have the river right here. It's gorgeous. The sound, you, know, you just feel the water coming through the air, and it's really hot. I suggest sunscreen for sure. Sunscreen because in the summer months, doing this, you're so much closer to the sun, so you're gonna burn more. <sighs> Look at this bridge. Oh my god, <laughs> it's intense. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's cross this bridge. 
The problem with this bridge is that it's only like planks of wood and then there's holes in between. So be careful, really be careful. I've never seen a bridge like that. <laughs> it's an empty house, old house. Old house? Yeah. Beautiful. Look how small the windows are. I know. I mean, they have all this, all these branches, wood, to survive the winter, right? It's really cold here. And here we have a map of the whole area. As you can see, yeah. this is where we are. Seth, Seth, he got us. So we just walked all this. My man, I am perfect. This hike is moderate. Not so bad. Lots of rocks, a little hilly, but I can do it. And I'm okay, I'm in okay shape right now. Nah, I'm, really, I'm in really good shape actually. <laughs> this water is frigid. It's so good if you want to drink. Mmm, you drink. Mm. You're never gonna dehydrate here. And this is it. Waterfall, you can hear it. She's gonna fall? You think she's gonna fall? Don't fall in the waterfall. You have to be careful on the way in to the waterfall. You have a little stream, you have a small path, and huge like boulders. That's a cow, man. I know, I know it's a cow, but damn, he just fell out of nowhere. It's fantastic. I feel like I know her for ages. <laughs> the cow is like trying to block our way, but we're getting around it. A little tick on it. All right, we'll see you later. Have fun. Look at this falls. Actually, there's another waterfall. This is a tiny stream of the waterfall coming out from the side. Waterfall is deeper over there. But look at this water. I wanna put my head in here. Head? This is tough. Oh. Now we have to climb boulders. Whoa. Definitely be in shape before you come up here. If not, oh my God. And right here, we can see the waterfall. There it is. Yes. We made it. Oh, there's other people here. Cool. Woohoo! We did it! Yes! Ah, the breeze. You guys are going in the water? Yeah, let's do it. Take off your shoes. Let's go. The best part about it is that we have the whole waterfall to ourselves. There is nobody here to disturb us. They're saying it's freezing. Like it's freezing. Like you can't stand there too long because your feet freeze. Oh. 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 It's ice. It's ice cold. Ice, ice. Oh my God. Oh, you can't be in there for like more than 20 seconds. Oh, it's cold. I'm standing on a rock now because I couldn't take it. <laughs> this is incredible! Look at this! Wow! Albania! I've never been in water this cold. Like, dude, this is so, so freezing. Oh, careful. Oh, oh no, my feet are numb! Ah. Can't come in here multiple times. It's too much. And that's it. We saw the waterfall. We went in. Ice cold water. You can do it. You can bathe in there. But I don't think you can last more than a minute. I really don't think so. I did like 15 seconds and my feet were just way too cold. They're still cold. They're warming up. And now we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back, see some more stuff, and eat. I'm getting super hungry. Oh my god, get out of here. I'm gonna slip my butt. Oh my god. Hey, how you doing? Hi, you're doing great, thanks. The way out should be easier, but because there's so many boulders and you're going down, it's tough. Like, yeah, you go fast as you're going down, you can easily slip, so definitely be careful. Cool. Yeah. My God, you can slip at any moment here. A lot of people here. Tourists starting to come in. We're done. We did it quick. Yeah. It was like 20 minutes to get back. Yeah. Really fast. Whew. You should definitely get here really, really early. It's 11.20 right now. If we were to start it right now, we'd be baking the whole way in. I almost slipped there. This is uh, like a countryside bar. Amazing. Old tradition. Well, it's called bar. 
And behind here we have the Lock and Tower, which we're going to visit. This bar is awesome. So it's basically a wooden bar. Everything's made of wood. And over here, we have the river and the mountains. Whoa, what is that? Gezur. Gezur. All right, so I'm going to try the Rocky from the house. Oh, it's light. It's smooth. Mmm. I think this might be like plums or something because it's so much smoother than the other one. This rock is good. And this is the tower. All right, so this is the defense tower of Thethi, the place of self-security. I love your hat. Your hat's amazing. Yeah. Whoa, it's like boulders in the bottom. Obviously, this was built on a big rock. Whew, careful. history Bravo. This defense tower dates back over 400 years. On the first level in the basement, just rocks. You have to go up, and then here you have basically a place where people can sit down. So it's like wool, wool chairs, you have carpet, you have two low tables, you have some, I guess, coffee, right? Yeah. Coffee. And then you have pictures here on the walls, and then you can go upstairs to the very top. Let's go up there. And that's the tower, right? On this level, we have carpet. We have a, like a small chest, another place to sit. And from here, you have some little windows, like tiny windows. And you know what they would use this for is for the arrows. <laughs> and here we have an old rifle. It's like rusty, super rusty. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're going to the village, to the guest house, Logu Harusha. There we are staying for the lunch. We made it back here to the hotel. And as you can see, we have our food coming. And there's a little fountain here. This is mountain water. You will never go thirsty in Theth. Here we have some traditional salads, fried potatoes, goat cheese. That's a homemade yogurt, and we have some grilled vegetables. I'm starving after that walk. Mm. We did like six kilometers. It's amazing. I am starving. I'm gonna have some cheese with some potatoes. <gasps> oh, that's good. Wow. The food is good. And here we have some beef. Beef from this area. Mm. So they just brought us some burek. This burek is a little different. Cheese, onions, but it's like cigars almost. And the spinach. Mm. Mm. It's hot. It's like boiling. Mm. Just made. Cheese, spinach, and onion burek. That's the best part of burek. They always change it up. Sometimes you have the triangle, you know, pyramid. This time it's like this. Mm. We gotta keep going with this beef though. It's like a gelatin ball. So we also have some baked potatoes. Oh yeah, baked potatoes. And we got some rakia and some wine. They want wine. I went to the local house rakia. Oof. This one's a little different. Oh, it smells great. Gazor? Gazor. Gazor, Gazor, Gazor. Now it's time to eat. Mm. Mm -hmm. You got the roasted red pepper, eggplant. Mmm. Mm. And this beef. Yep. Mm. Mm. Love this beef. So organic. The best thing to do is get the beef and dip it into yogurt. Best beef I've had. Mmm. The food at this restaurant is phenomenal. Incredible beef, nice roasted vegetables, the yogurt, the yogurt. Mixing that with some of the beef, here in the rooster. Mm. 
so good, so natural. Albania is the land of fresh food. Burek. Look how tasty it is. This is the best burek I've tried in Albania. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I've been, it's been good. Really good, actually. But this one, another level. The dough, the crispiness, the spinach, the cheese. I mean, it's like something else. And you see these onions in here as well, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This yogurt right here is basically their ketchup. Mm-hmm. Better than ketchup. Mm. Loguri Harushave. Okay, Loguri Harushave, and that's where we just had lunch. This is the place you have to stay at when you come to Theth. They have 28 rooms, which is really 25 rooms, which are up there. And over here we have three houses, wooden houses, and they all have mirrors outside. You can't see inside, but they can see you from inside. I love this. This is amazing. Look at this. So, all wood, right? The house is completely wood. Floor wood. Have a king size bed. Over here you hang your clothes. And then over here is the bathroom. The bathroom is crystal clear, so whoever you're staying with here should be your wife. Because <laughs> she's going to be able to watch you. Look at this. Wow. Love it. Incredible bathroom. So we have a sink, toilet, shower. This is perfect. This is like a wooden house in the mountains. It's like cottage feel. Alright, now we're going to the rooms. Love the mirrors. Love it. So random, but cool. I love this hotel. All wood. Very nice, very rustic, very mountain. This is what you see in the mountains. Incredible spots like this. Here you have a room with a queen size bed and a twin size bed. So most likely you come, you know, with one kid or three friends, you know? But yeah, that's that's it. Nice bathroom, clean, comfortable bed. Let me lay down for a sec. I'm gonna pass out right now. Whoa, I'm really going to sleep right now. But the air up here. Just keeps coming in. It's cool air, really, really cold. So here there's four rooms, right? Making our way up. There's a few more rooms upstairs. I actually like this room a lot. So you have the twin size bed. Here you have a little table. You sit down, have some coffee. And here you have another bed. So two twins. You can come in with your friend or this can be your kid's room. You could be like right next door and your kids stay in here. You know, two twins. So for two kids, teens or friends. And this room has a king size bed. Over here we can hang our clothes and the bathroom. Everything's nice, but my favorite part is the view and the sound. All right guys, that's our time here in Theth. We explored the national park of Theth. We did a few different things, main things. You know, the one thing we didn't do was the blue eye. Yeah, so we saw the church, we saw the tower, we saw the waterfall. My favorite part was the waterfall. Yeah, the waterfall is it's fantastic. It was it's, epic. It's, it's, epic, it's amazing. I mean, the water's so cold. And we saw the whole uh, village of Theth. Yeah. We had a nice traditional lunch. Yeah. So I think for a half a day, guys, we started at Škoda at uh, seven. Now it's only two o'clock. I think we're doing enough. Travel Albanian house with Andy. Guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Albania. Peace.